Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to bake a tank top dress. Yes, you heard me correctly. We're going to bake it. So first things first, I've turned the dress inside out, out of habit more than anything else. And then I decide where I want the center of the spiral to be, and I give it a little pinch, and using the hemostat and the microwave splatter guard, I create the spiral. Now, you want to put your hemostat down on the first click. It does not need to be overly tight. And then I give it two or three twists, and then using my opposite hand, I actually create the spiral. So if you look, I kind of pull the material out and around, creating those pleats. And then I go as far as I can using the splatter guard, and when I can't go any farther, I unclick the hemostat, hold down the center of the spiral, and gently wiggle the hemostat out. Keeping in mind that I have all of this on fast forward, so when I'm pulling the hemostat out, it kind of looks a little violent, but it's not. And then I'm just going to secure it by using my second favorite rubber bands. So there is one small downside to using the splatter guard to create the spirals. It doesn't create an overly tight spiral. So what I like to do now is pull on the loose tails, tucking them into the nearest rubber band. And I go around and around doing this until when I pull on them, it just doesn't go anywhere because it's already as tight as it's going to go. And you don't wanna overdo it. So if you kind of pay attention, I'm pulling a little too hard and it wanted to sort of fold up a little bit. All you gotta do is push it back down. Now it's time for the fun part. We get to add the dye. And these are all brand new colors to me. They are the Dharma's special order dyes, which are currently unavailable to purchase. Uh, the components to mix them are unavailable on some of the colors. So Dharma decided to just pull the whole entire list until they have everything, instead of trying to pick and choose which ones they're able to make. So I did get these from Kathy Sprague, and you can find her on Facebook at Tie Dye Supplies Marketplace. And I'm not sure if Kathy's currently selling any dyes. She may have sold out on the last round, but she will be the go-to source when it picks back up again. So I'm just adding my dye in the uh, pieces of the pie, and I'm just like going catty corner. So where I add the one color, I go right through the center of the spiral and add it across from there. Super easy to do. So you may be noticing that this is in a different type of pan than you've ever seen me use before. And it looks like something that can go in the oven, right? Well, you're right. It's a cake pan and it's the perfect size for this spiral. So I was in a rush for the Hawaii trip and so I put a couple things in the oven. I have a viewer that has told me on more than one occasion uh, that they bake their items in the oven on an ice die and it works really well. So I thought, well, I'm in a rush. My microwave is in use at the moment. Heck, I'm going to give it a try. And I can tell you guys that baking in the oven works really well. Now it won't be my go-to way of doing my ice dyes. I don't mind batching for the full 48 hours, but if you're in a hurry and you need to get your ice to melt, this is a pretty cool method. The colors that I'm using for this dress are new to me colors that I really haven't used before. So when choosing the colors, I was keeping in mind uh, somewhat neutral, not very bright, um, you know, for somebody that's not necessarily in love with, you know, like bright tie dye. So I just chose names that I thought sounded like they would go well together. So we'll see if that works. Next, I give the project a quick little sprinkle of soda ash for good measure. Even though it was pre-soaked in the soda ash, I just wanna make sure that the pH stays up around 10.5 to 11 because I'm going to be adding quite a bit of ice to this project, so you don't wanna bring the pH down. And I also wanna make sure to fill up the container full of ice. I wanna make sure that there's enough moisture around the cloth. I don't want it to have a chance to catch on fire in the oven. And I should also mention, you know, don't leave your oven unattended. You know, stay within range and check on it frequently. 
So I had made quite a mess when I was adding the ice and I got dye on the table and it made a mess. So it's a really good habit to get into, especially if you're new to tie dyeing, to clean up as you go. It just makes your life a lot easier. And then I took this whole pan set up here and I stuck it on a cookie sheet and I covered it with foil and I took it to the oven. This was my first time doing this, so I really didn't know what I was doing. So this is what I did and I'll just walk you through it. So I covered the project with foil and I turned the oven to my lowest setting, which is 170 degrees, and I baked it for 30 minutes, well, 31. And then I came back and I checked it and the ice really didn't melt very much. So I removed the foil and set it for another 30 minutes, still at 170 degrees. Came back after the second 30 minutes and I checked it and a whole heck of a lot didn't happen. So I set it for another 30 minutes, well, 29 minutes. And when I came back after the 29 minutes, it looked really good. It looked like this. And I switched the projects in the oven because I don't have uniform heat. Okay, then I cranked the heat up to 300 degrees because I figured it would, you know, warm up to the 300. And I set it for 30 minutes. And then I pulled it out of the oven and now it's time for the rinse out. It's really hot, so be careful. Do not burn yourself on that liquid. And I should also mention, don't leave your stove unattended. You know, be in the general area and check on it often. You don't wanna, you know, burn your house down. So for the rinse out, you wanna start by using cold water to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric and then increase your water up to hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. The reason for the cold water is to remove the soda ash so the dark colors don't redeposit onto the light colors. Now the project is boiling hot. I don't know if the cold water is necessary, but I go through the motions anyways. Once the water runs pretty much clear at the sink, I take it to the washing machine, and this is how I do it. Now you can find your own way. Other tie dyers do it their way, but this is what I do. I do two hot water cycles using Kirillon. And then I do a third hot water cycle using Milsoft. And Kirillon is a professional textile detergent and Milsoft is a professional fabric softener and I get both of them from Dharma Trading Company. And then I'll put it in the dryer and we'll come back and see the results. Well, here it is guys. Here's our baked tank top dress after it's been washed and dried. And I think it turned out really funky. This is a wild color combination for sure. It didn't turn out quite as neutral as I was hoping. I'm pretty sure it's the salmon mousse that's throwing out all of the yellow. So it's a lot more vibrant and bright than I was expecting it to be. Um, but overall, I think it's pretty. And what this has done is made me really excited to swatch each of these colors out individually and see what they're capable of because there are a lot of colors going on in this. I see purple and mauve and green and blue and sort of like a really dark plum, you know, some brown tones, green tones, uh, the red obviously, and then the yellow and uh, just some like neutral, um, like beigey colors. I mean, there's just so much going on. You know, your eye is drawn in all different directions. And then, so this is a, a view of it from the underarm, like the side seam, and it kind of creates a cool uh, double spiral. So overall, I'm really happy with this dress and just motivated to get busy and get these colors swatched out and see what they're capable of doing. So what do you guys think? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie dyeing.